with two men on a ladder and crash through the windows. I've got to say this. The suspect's wife is up there with him. He is crazy. Now, if we start firing gas in there, he's liable to flip out and kill us. I don't care what you believe. You should have realized you were placing that civilian's life in jeopardy. If we were in the military, they'd call it mutiny. But you're going to have to do something about it, pal. The supervisor is not supposed to go inside. Since when, then, is a procedure in a tactical situation to stand around and debate my orders? Keep your hands up and get in here! Let me shoot! This is R90 David. Contact 10040 on TAC 2 and advise we have SWAT units available. Move it out, Chuckston. 1389, John X Ray Paul. 1839, no water warrant, Roger. Train of 88, 3, 88, see the woman. 4615, fight. 2701, code 2. Sergeant King, show you the field commander. That's right, Sergeant McGraw. Have a location there? Affirmative, number 316. Got a suspect holed up inside. I know, I heard it coming down over the radio. Are you SWAT? That's right, I've got two more units on the way now. You want us to assist you or just back off? You keep that one in your mouth you your shot. No permanent! Yeah. Who's that? I don't know, must be his wife. There's supposed to be a... There he is. There he is, Yates. The moment you've been waiting for. King Sherman himself. Oh, come on. Let's see what we got. Hello, Yates. Fault, Negro Pelham. This is the Supervisor Sergeant McGraw. So, you want us to handle it? Well, it is you, especially. You're giving it to me, right? Right, you got it. Suspect's name is Faust, if you can believe that. Boulevard Faust, family dispute, beat up his wife the other side of the alley there. Why the meat wagon? She don't look that bad. It's for the suspect. Had a lot of booze, dropped some pills, scared hell out of his family. Evans here was called to the scene, had a gun pulled on him. So the suspect did threaten a police officer. Oh, you can believe that, all right. He's inside now. We heard him locking up, slamming doors. What's he got, a handgun? Yeah, six-inch blue steel revolver, 22. Looks like a high standard. Uh, the shots came from inside, by the way. Uh, no idea what at or what they hit. Thanks, Evans. Yates, who's your scout? That give you a hint about the suspect's frame of mind? Yeah. Hey, Yates, this guy Sherman never even seen a SWAT team, right? You mean he's never run one? He's been observing with Eaton for two weeks now. Besides, he pulled out that good shooting, remember? Observing. Oh, that's a real comfort. You want me to pick a spot where we can cover the front and the back? Let me decide that. He's alone in there, but he can make war. He's got a shotgun in the bedroom, shells piled up along the window where we can see him. He's got a rifle, looks to be a high power job. That's in the kitchen. And some more shells in another window. And then he's got that 22. A lot of ordnance. What do you think, Sergeant? Get him on the landline, try and reason with him? Oh, I don't know at this point. We're in no hurry. McGraw's got the perimeter secured. Let's see. Long Rifle, why don't you take a position up there with the observer? Yeah, it's you and Pelham, is it? Yeah, cover the front yard. What is it, Yates? Don't you want to wait for the squat truck? I haven't called it. What, you got other units coming? No. I think we can handle it. Yates. This is my first time out. Let's take it step by step, okay? Just do as I say. You got it, Sergeant. You got a lot of cover there. Just take a position there. Yates, as I say, it's my first outing. I do appreciate your suggestions. You don't like him, do you? He bothers me somehow. 
You've known him, what, two minutes already, and he bothers you? Hate to have your mind, Pelham. Hey, partner, would you have handled it like this? Ask me when it's my turn. Hey, you're in danger. I'm ordering you to stop. Look, that guy's a friend of mine, all right? Hey, I'm a police officer. You don't understand the situation. Now hold it right there. Oh, yeah? Yates, who the hell let him through? Hey, Fab, what's going on here, anyway? Get out of here, will you, Herbie? What are you doing with that thing in your hand? What do you think you're kidding, huh? What is he? What's he doing here? I don't know, Yates. But this is bad. I can't line up on the suspect. Not 90 you. David, who is this guy? What's Why didn't somebody stop him? Hand? We're beyond that now. Just try to handle it. I can take a beat on the suspect. If I have to, I'll drop it. You hear that, Sherman? 90 David, you hear that? What are you talking about? If his gun comes down on anybody, I'm taking a green light. I'm telling you, Herbie, my head is all screwed up, so uh, just split out of here with you. Also, help me. I'll take you out with me. What do you mean, with me? What are you talking about, anyway, huh? Stop messing here. Give me the gun. Oh, of course, crazy here with all this. Uh, I, I had it all through. Sure, sure. <laughs> Yates, be specific. Why exactly did you shoot him? When the gun came down again, Sergeant. Faust pulled the gun down hard and stuck it right in his belly. I was in fear for the man's life. I wasn't just going to stand there and wait for the guy to smoke him. Oh, you think that that was his intention, to smoke him? Well, it sure looked like that to me. Uh, Sergeant, I have to agree with my partner. As far as I'm concerned, he was ready to shoot. Well, what was the civilian doing there in the first place? Will somebody tell me that? I mean, did he just blunder in there, or what? I sent him in. You knowingly sent him over there? That's right. I thought it was the best thing to do at the time. He informed me he was a friend of the suspects, a very good friend. Well, he was absolutely certain he could talk the gun out of his hand. And... No. He was convincing. He was certain he could do it. That way... That way, no police officers would be involved in that. Or, or hurt. I don't care what you believe, Sergeant. The fact is, a move like that is completely contrary to departmental policy. And it's completely against tactical sense. As a police officer, you should have realized you were placing that civilian's life in jeopardy. I see they're very clearly us, sir. I can't afford to be polite. Now, if this was anything but your first SWAT mission, I would hang you up. 
Well, you're going to be hung up anyway. Until the shooting review board comes down with its decision. But at least that gives you some time to think about it. And I hope you do. I hope it really works on you. Well, I guess I just got a different perspective than you guys, that's all. Look, Vinny, you weren't there. You couldn't see the look on my partner's face. Are you trying to tell me I can't put myself in his place? What are you going to do, run us through it again? Get some matches, man. Yeah. What about that bank shootout he was involved in? He handled that one pretty good, didn't he? Western National Bank, yeah, I know. Smoke some bad guys, and right away they run up a commissioner. Quit the baloney, will you, Pelham? There's a lot more to it than that. He's qualified, you know it. Besides, Eaton thinks he's OK. Or is Eaton's opinion no good anymore? Now, what are you saying? Well, we're just talking about Sherman. You know, King Sherman. He's a damn good street cop. Yeah, but a SWAT supervisor? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, he learns really fast. He's been, uh, he's been working with me for a couple of weeks now as an observer. And I think he's pretty sharp. SWAT doesn't mean anything to Sherman. I know for a fact he's getting ready for the lieutenant's exams. Well, now, what's the matter with some guy bucking for lieutenant? I mean, somebody's got to run things. Ben's got a point, though. Well, that bank shootout, Sherman's partner got hung up on the bank. You know that? He had to go up against four bad guys alone. And he took them. I'll tell you how weird I am. That kind of thing really impresses me. Well, you can afford to say that, Vinny. I mean, there's not a lot of bullets flying back and forth across the bar here. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. I've seen my share, Pelham. And I'm telling you, any cop that can face up the four bad guys alone is OK in my book. Give the man a second chance, will you? Anybody deserves that. I guess you know what you did today will come back as a good shooting. Look, Yates, I know it was my mistake. Yeah, well, that's fine. But I had to drop the hammer on the guy, Sergeant. I mean, I just took a man's life, you know? But you did save one. Did I? Look, I appreciate your coming in here. And I sure don't want to rub it in. But I got to live with it. No, we do, Yates. We do. I'm truly sorry. Hey, Sherman. Listen, get a minute? Yeah. Listen, four days relinquished. Now, I know that that was not easy no, to take. being a... Yeah, it did. You sure jumped the gun on that assignment. I mean, it wasn't yours, and you weren't ready for it. Oh, I can see that now. Want some coffee? Yeah, thanks. Look, for what it's worth, if you're, uh, if you're wondering about the men, now, they understand. Yeah, they know that command is not easy. Uh, Black? Black. Black. Tell you, Eden, I, I can appreciate that. I've been thinking seriously. Can't be a cowboy anymore. I mean, there are too many people's lives who depend on what you do, right? And I know I've been given a second chance. I know that. And I, uh, well, I appreciate any suggestions. Even. I promise you this: I'm not going to settle for just clearing my record. I'm going to try to be. Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's something else I wanted to talk to you about. Now, what happened the other day? That could work on you. I mean, it could make you come back trying to prove yourself too much. Now, you follow what I'm saying? You think I'd overreact? <laughs> well, I think you're human. Come on, just play it cool. You know, even when you're pumping 100 miles an hour inside, just stop and think. Thanks. One four to R80 David. 80 David, go. 
We have a barricaded suspect in the Central Division. 1L30, request to respond to 101 Oakland Road. Roger. Listen, advise uh, D platoon units this is a SWAT call-up. Give them the location and send one unit for the SWAT truck. Where is Eaton anyway? I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and scot this thing out. Negro! Hit it! Listen, why don't you dig up the field supervisor and just advise him we moved out, all right? If you want to stay happy, don't turn around. Oh, no. Relax, sunshine. He's probably just observing. Eaton's unit blew a tire, so it looks like my outing. Field Where's the location? Number 101. Green apartment house, about halfway down the street. I see the perimeter's been established. The building been evacuated. Well, the field supervisor would know that, side. Find out, Helen. I'm assigning you that responsibility. I want to take a look around. You look at him. He's walking right down on the location. Now he's got the handgun. You know, he could get killed like that. What's your hurry? enough. My little suggestion, Sergeant? I'm always open to that, Yates. What is it? Why don't you take a couple of deep breaths? You're really pumping. Aren't you? Isn't that what we're here for, Yates? What we're really here for? Of course he's dangerous. Just look at me. That he is apt to fire again. <laughs> what do you need, an expert opinion? Sergeant, uh, Sherman, is it? My patient. Mr. Dobbs has a house full of weapons. What kind of weapons? Weapons, weapons. And who knows what else? Now, I'm telling you, he's a fanatic. And there's only one entrance, right? Only the one. And uh, you can't get in that way. Why not? Well, you have to go through a, a service porch, and then there's some kind of door. What's that mean, some kind of door? Uh, metal, steel or something. I, I don't know. I've only seen it once. A steel door? I keep telling you, he's a mental case. Hey, I've seen some weird things in my day, but... Hey, you know what he's got in there? A regular vault door. Like in a bank. With a combination and everything. I got another flash for you. Psych mentioned a wife. Looks like she's tied to the bed. Kitchen's here. Living room, there's two bedrooms, a service porch, and that crazy door. Uh -huh. Well, I think we can take this location. We'll go on up and make entry. How? We can't get through the vault door. Not going to. We use a ladder. Locate the suspect, then come in through the opposite side. Here, perhaps here. Put two men on a ladder and crash through the windows. Well, Sergeant, don't you think we should secure the location first? As the way it stands, the suspect could just play walk right out. Tell them yours is but one of three teams under my command. Right. Sergeant, the men on the ladder should just be hanging there. If the suspect spotted them... Gates, you're a policeman. So are the rest of you. I'm a sergeant. I'm the supervisor. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yates, you and Pelham are gas team one. I want you here. Move out. Sir, I've got to say this. The suspect's wife is up there with him. He is crazy. Now, if we start firing gas in there, he's liable to flip out entirely and kill her. You have your position. Is it clear where I want you? Yes, sir. Very clear.
Lord, this is 27 Charles. We are out and about. Right, 27 Charles, I'll hear you. 114, this is Gas Team 1. Go ahead, Gas Team 1. Weren't you supposed to clear this frequency, TAC-2? Gas Team 1, negative. I had no such request. I don't believe it. R90 David, this is Gas Team 1. Are you receiving this unit on TAC-2? This is R90 David. All SWAT units, get ready for entrance team to make entry. What? 90 David to Gas Team 1. I want four flight rights into the location. R90, this is Yates. Have the officers made entry into the location yet? 1W30 to 1W90, we are clear from Code 7. Are there any messages? Over. 1W30, will you get the hell off this frequency? Baby, stand tall. You out of your mind. Hey, don't you know your place in this organization? We've just been promoted. Chief ladder holder. Chief target, Timmy. R90, this is Yates. What's happening? This is R90. Gas team one. I said four rounds. Fire! Fire! Where? Which room? Fire! thing we've heard in this entire mess. He didn't even know we were out there. All those radio cars, all that noise and confusion, he just plain didn't know. I guess that's what you call preoccupation. Yeah, I'll tell you what I call it, plain blind luck. Because believe me, that's the only reason that entry team is still alive. Commander Tully, huh? Boy, I sure hope he sits in on that debriefing. I sure got a lot to say to him. Yeah, well, get in line, buddy, because it's going to be open season. You ever see such a screwed up mess? Nobody hurt. That looks pretty good, Sherman. Thank you, sir. Um, would you care to sit on the uh, debriefing? Debriefing? Do you really think a debriefing is necessary? No debriefing? You mean you just had to stand there and take it? The guy didn't even clear tack two. These guys had a fire blind. That gas could have gone through there and hurt an officer. They had no idea who was there. Nobody did. They should have seen us jockeying that ladder around down there in the kill zone. No communication, no organization, no nothing. I don't hear anything from you, Yates. You won't either. Nothing to say, huh? Or well, maybe too much. I'm having a drink. Shall I make you one? No, thank you, Terry. But I would like you to listen to this. It's about your own. Sure. It is. It's this leadership thing. I know they're going to... Gonna get me out of it, I know it. The one place they can get you, Sherman. There was no debriefing. None of us know all the answers. None of us know what was going on inside Sherman's head. I mean, the whole thing might have been perfectly clear to him. But I'll tell you what's clear, pal. If we draw that freak Sherman again. Now look, guys, I think I'm right about this. You're gonna have to think about taking over. What? My definition of good discipline would be willingness to obey commands. Now, on the question of leadership, on my qualified. Well, I could buy that, I guess. You guess? There's a little hesitation in your voice. It makes you sound indecisive. It's intentional. I want it to sound spontaneous. I think it should sound like a command. I think every word you utter should have that ring of authority. Authority. Unquestionable authority. It's 
a good image. He's dangerous, man. I mean, I think he's a psycho. All right, if Sherman wants to use SWAT as a stepping stone, well, that's all right. Stepping stone, but not a tombstone. And don't you characters tell me you can't smell something coming. Partner, that's crazy. You're talking about taking over a supervisor's position. You damn right I am. Well, forget it. If we were in the military, they'd call it mutiny. Well, you're gonna have to do something about it, pal. Because I ain't about to die. Not for him. Hey, Yates, what about the next time when he's got you and your buddies positioned in a crossfire? Yeah. Mm. Now, you're going to have to do something. Well, I'll do something then. But that idea's out. You hear me out. Take a seat, Sergeant. I see you hold a BA. Yes, sir. I'm also working on my master's. Also in social science? No, sir. Business administration. Now, Sergeant, what your Orals board would like to know is what you have to offer as a lieutenant on the force. Well, Commander, I think reasonable intelligence a fairly well-rounded education in it. Uh, well, is it immodest to say I have definite leadership capability? Have a little talk with Gates about how unhappy you guys are. A little talk? You fit all that into a little talk. <laughs> it was pungent. No, I took it to Lieutenant Penn. I thought he had to know. Uh, you don't suppose now that could go any higher now, do you? Like, all the way to the Orals board? So you did fail to clear TAC-2? There was an oversight, yes, sir. Why didn't you correct it? Well, the way things broke, timing being such, I didn't have to. Nor was there time. In any case, interference was minimal. And I assure you, it will never happen again. Suppose it does happen again. I refer to the whole situation. What would you do? Well, I think I'd call over my team leaders and help them make up a plan, take advantage of their experience, then disseminate the information. I would also, I think, formulate an alternate plan in case they should encounter something we couldn't anticipate. For example, that vault door, sir. Are you saying, then, that you'd make certain that all team members, those in the back, those firing gas, would know what's going on? Yes, sir, that's correct. Sir, as you know, I did not come up from the ranks, as it were. I was brought right in as a supervisor. But I assure you, I'm a good learner. And I do learn from each new outing. Suppose now, Sergeant, that you were in charge of a scene. And you had some officers that just weren't going to go along with your instructions. Suppose they were certain your decision was wrong. And they were going to flat not carry out your orders. I guess I'd say to myself, well, well, they're more experienced, and it's possible I, I, I made some error in judgment, some kind of error. I'm not above picking the brains of the good men around me. I, I'm always open to suggestions. I, I made that perfectly clear to my men. Well, suppose you do pick their brains, and they come up with a plan at odds with yours. What then? Well, sir, what is command all about? It can't be done by a committee. I still have to do what I think is best. All right, I've heard my men out. But the final responsibility is mine. Anything else you got? No, just that it's Fifth and Alvarado, and that's what you have to be aware of. Where are you going, Sarge? Hello, oh, Yates. Double of two eleven suspects hold up at this location. Officer Pauling, you give a description. You want to do that while we're getting dressed? We got two male cops, 5'9", 5'11", and 158 to 160, wearing dark clothing. Knocked over a bank at 5th and Alvarado. Officers Ocean and me tried to apprehend, which resulted in a chase, and they ended up over there. Facing? Shots fired? Oh, yeah. One officer down, Goshen. He's... we don't know yet. See your partner? 
10 years. Okay, pal, we'll see if we can't even score. That's all the information you give us on the suspect, huh? Well, yeah, see, they were at ski masks. Well, one of the suspects had a chrome plate at 22, probably for Rome. All right, that's where they must be. Apartment 11, top of the stairs, second apartment on the left. Did you use the horn yet? Affirmative, tried to honk them out, but no dice. Who's left in the building? Well, gunfire emptied the place, just the two suspects. Truxton, you and Pulse, I want you two with shotguns. You and you, Agars. We got them. So what's the plan? Go in and get them, Gates. Go in and get them. Come on, move out. R-90, David, to all SWAT units. Stand by and hold your positions. We are going to make entry. Entry team is approaching position, so stand by. Are you sure you want us to go in there right now? How about gas? We don't have time for that. They've already dropped one cop. Then why don't you go back to the command post and let us take this location, huh? I need entry experience, Yates. It's important to me. Sergeant, I'm going in with you. The supervisor is not supposed to go inside the location. You seem very up on a, uh, a procedure, Yates. I try to be. And since when, then, is a procedure in a tactical situation to stand around and debate my orders? Now move out. Sergeant, 90 David, what are you talking about? What movement? Just a glimpse, Sergeant. A couple of running figures, looks like. Alley behind the building. Will you clear this frequency? We're about to make entry. Didn't you hear the officer? Sounds like they're out. Damn it, Yates. He said he saw movement. Movement is not suspects. The shots came from in there, and that's where we're going. So hit that door. jam with a bed or furniture or something. And you said nobody was in there. Well, if they are, they sure as hell know we're coming now, Sergeant. Get <laughs> in there and back up that pool. Go. I'll take the back. You take the front. That. We've got an officer down. Officer needs help in the alley. Officer down. Sherman flushed him, Yates. That big dumb lamb flushed him out of the place and now they dumped the copper. I'm telling you, he's squirrely. You gotta do something about this guy. Or I'm gonna walk, or I'm gonna blow him up, or I'm gonna do something. You're the team leader. Thanks a lot. Try the attic. The suspects are out of the location, Sergeant. I said, search the attic. Yates, my CC unit is broadcasting. It's going on tape downtown. Now I'm giving you a direct order. Search the attic. Search it yourself, Sergeant. We're going after the suspect. Yates! Yates, you come back here! You men! Come back here! Yates! That's an order! Come! Come back here! How you doing, partner? Fine, just fine. What's a little mutiny between friends, huh? Sherman's a friend. Look, we came here to bust bad guys. Now let's get on with it, all right?
114, this is SWAT 1. Please notify communications we have switched to TAC 1. Too much traffic on TAC 2. SWAT 1, this is R90. David, where are you? SWAT 1, do you hear me? Respond. Respond to command. 114, will you clear TAC 2? Yates, where are you? You. Give me a CC unit. Huh? Mine's out of order. I'm the commander here. Give me a unit. Sure, if you say Your name so. is Witherby, right? I remember that. So what am I supposed to do, Sergeant? I need a unit, too. You want a unit? Here, take mine. Hey, we better get over there. Gates, what's with Sherman? Who's running this show, anyhow? I am. Why? We located the suspects. They're in that three-story building over there. Still inside the perimeter. Okay, the building's deserted. No furniture, no drapes, no anything. Spot the suspects? Nope. They must be keeping down. But we sure could hear them moving around. What part of the building are they in? Second floor. Front. Okay. We'll move out of here and set up a new CP. Gas teams wherever you want, okay? Hey, listen, what's this uh, TAC 2 to TAC 1 business? Where's Sherman, anyway? He's disabled. I had to take over. Don't be so damn polite. We got ourselves a real Captain Quig here. Whatever, that's my responsibility, not yours. Pelham, you and Paul grab yourselves some high ground here. Looks like a good position. Okay. Dalton, you and Witherby, you cover the front and the back, and you watch your crossfire. Let me know when you're set up, all right? Right. Is there any questions? Now's the time. We are on tack one, right? You got it. All right, move out. Hey, How long you been here? Well, now listen, before you get started, I heard the whole thing on the radio. Well, what do you think? You want to take over? Uh, I'm not all right up from a situation. Now, you've handled it this far, you go right ahead. Eaton, I'm glad you're here. I can't get a response out of anyone. Really? I think... I think the men are beginning to lose control. They may be trying to take over. Oh, man, it's getting a little hairy around here. Yates to all SWAT units. Let me know when you're in position. Dalton, in position. Yates, this is Pelham. We are in position. Witherby, Roger. Yates. This is Metro with a Roger. Anybody? Negative. Hey, you. Watch the front door. That guy sounds nuts. Gates! Gates, what do you think you're doing? Look, I told you before, I'm taking over. Sherman, listen, listen now. We can't have this kind of open dissension. Now you let Yates run it. Let him put his foot in it if he has to, and then you land on him. Okay? Yeah, that's it. 
It's just a matter of time, isn't it? That's our plan. That'll be our plan, Sergeant. We'll let him hang himself. Hey, listen out there! See my friend with the shotgun? He can take that hostage and blow his head right off! If that hostage dies, you get it too. I want you to understand that. The minute he goes, you go. Kind of a standoff right now, ain't it? So why don't you just let my friend walk out of here with him? What about you? My friend goes through line first. Then you let me go, see? Then you get the hostage! Hey, Yates. Let him go if you want to. About another five feet and I'll have a clear sight picture. I can smoke him. Yeah, I kind of figured. As soon as he hits that walk, I gotta blow this turkey right out of his shoes. What do you say, Big Face? Make your move. We haven't got all day. Hey, there's something screwy. I know that hostage. They call him Big Flats, last name Poland. You sure? Yeah, they were flashing his mug and roll call last week. He's a bad dude, real bad dude. And he's the hostage. Now come. That's a good question. Sergeant Sherman, what is all this? Man, I'm glad you're here. I want you to see this. Hey, Gates, you see something flash just now? Negative. Well, I did, like off metal. Where? The hostage, something in his hand. Come again? Something shiny in his hand, the hostage, behind his back. Could it be a gun like a 22? Don't know, just saw the one flash. How's your sight picture? Uh, just about perfect. Hey, hey Yates, there's something screwy here. I know. I want you to take the hostage. What? Now you have a green light. Take the hostage. You mean the suspect, right? Negative, negative. I mean the hostage. The hostage is our suspect. Keep your hands up and get in here! Don't, 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 don't kill me! Turn around, face the wall. Hey, you're the guy upstairs that's in all the horror, and you coming out too, and we dumped you! No, I, I don't have any. I'm not gonna fool around with you, we're coming to get you! Okay, man, I'm coming out! You hear me? I quit! I quit! You hear? Okay, I'm through. Did you see what he did? He muted me. He took away my command. He disobeyed every... All right. All right, Sherman. That's all right. Now, just cool it. Let me talk to him. Listen, Yates, as soon as the shooting team is through with you, there are a couple of guys downtown who want to talk to you. Commander, this That's man... That's it, Sherman. Come on. Let's just relax. You don't consider that shooting a rash move? No, sir. Not in my mind. First of all, the so-called suspect didn't fit the description. And then the apparent hostage, well, I recognized him right off. I'd expect a thing like this to disorientate a man. Are you saying it didn't? No, sir, it sure did. Until I got that tip about the flash. I remember the officer told me one of the suspects had a chrome-plated 22. I mean, I didn't reason this whole thing out in my mind. I just knew that the real hostage was the guy with the empty shotgun. Well, as it turned out, you were right. What about all this, Sergeant? Well, sir, I, uh, I think Yates ran things really well. I mean, even driving down here in the uh, car, I, uh, you know, I just, I, I knew everything had fallen to pieces here at the location. Now, he took over for a very good reason. Now, in my opinion, Sergeant Sherman just plain couldn't handle it. I think what you did here today must have been very difficult. Yes, sir, it sure was. Well, I'm going to back him up at the hearing, sir. All the way. I expect I will, too. You really lucked out, didn't you? I lucked out, Lieutenant. If this were the army, I'd have you court-martialed. For both of you. Yeah, well, you can't win them all, can you, sir? I don't know, partner. I just don't know. 
He's a poo, buddy. They built him this little cage here, but they got him off the street. Yeah, but I can't help noticing he went up. Not out. Up. And we're all the time saying the department doesn't have a sense of humor. Five, new out locally, checking NCIC. Other repeat. 11 Mary 6, call a station. 13 Zebra 5, John Frank William 899.